Welcome everyone to the exercise number 8b which contains selection processes or selecting features by attribute. In the prior video we have learned how to select features visually by choosing locations in our case in the in this um, tutorial or in this um, data view or in this project by selecting polygons that are located here or parcels that are located on the border uh, or on or on the crossing in the in the in this video I would like to show you how to use SQL statements to select um, distinct features not only by one attribute like the location or the status but also on um, a manifold of attributes so first of all we would like to open the attribute tables and you can see that there are a lot of uh, features or a lot of um, attributes are available you have show, show only selected records but we would like to see all records so in this case now all records are shown and well let's say a client will come to you and ask for some um, A house with three bedrooms, a price less than one hundred sixty thousands or maybe one hundred fifty thousands, and well, let's say it has to be on sale for sure. So, how to do that? So, in this table view, you will have oh well, that was wrong. So there's a table there is a table and we will adjust the visibility back and what you can do now is you can select by attributes so there are this table options and you would like to select by attributes and here you have um, the interface for your SQL statements so you would like to create a new selection because we don't have any selected features in our case and there are the attributes which are available so beginning by the FID the land use the zoning etc so first of all of course the status of the parcel should be on sale so what you will do is you would you will select status and will first hand get the unique values to that attribute so click on get unique values now you have no for not for sale and yes for sale so what we will do is we will just say double click status status should be the same like yes well that is we can apply that now every feature is selected which is on sale of course the current um, scheme has already shown that so well lay graphs well where is it table of contents there it is uh, well that is not only the one and only um, attribute we would like to search for but there's also the uh, question of how to get more features oh no what have I done so once again window table of contents stick with it there An attribute table now we are in the in the correct one so let's go back to select by attributes we have or we have used the status to be on sale like or the same as yes and you would like to have only three or apartments or houses with three bedrooms so and the bedroom number should be let's say get unique values so there are houses with two three four and five should be the same 
as 3 and of course the price is important so the sale price should be well now we are not constrained to the uni unique values but the sale price should be less than 100 so well, let's say 168,000 leave blank over here we will click on apply and now there's only this uh, the, the selected features available um, in our selection so now we have I have adjusted the view not only show all but show only selected records and we can compare the sale price sale price is uh, below our value the bedrooms number is of course three and the status is on sale so there is our SQL statement uh, which we have used and you can play around with that a little. It's very useful for uh, data analysis. Thank you very much for watching.